So the easiest way to do excited state transitions is with the so-called level of excitation method. And what that method requires is that you know what the get in, the startup sequences are, and also what the exit sequences are for any given trick. So these are our tricks here that we want to convert between and we know the get in and exit sequences. Now in the case of 741, a 5 gets you in and a 3 gets you out, and for 714 it's more excited, it has a higher level of excitation, a 55 five gets you in and a 2 could get you out. Um, using no more information than there is just already on the board, we could now generate transition sequences to go from 741 and, and to 714. So if we're, if we're running 4, we know that a 5 will get us into 741. So then we can repeat that any number of times, including 0 times if you like, but anyway, we can repeat it any number of times. And, and where it leaves us in is, is an excitation level that is a single 5 excited. If we wanted to go into 714, well, we, we need two 5s to get into 714 and 741 only has one five worth of excitation. So, I want to say it's pretty clear what we need to do is we need another five to get us into two fives worth of excitation. Um, and then we could do 714. And another way of looking at this is, I said that if you do this trick, you know, inside, once you get into this trick, you can do it any number of times including zero number of times. So if you like, you could think of the four ball trick 552 five, as, well, this is really, there's a 741 in here zero times, okay? Or there's a 741, I'm sorry, 714 in here zero times. I mean, you can just do 552 five, or you can do 5741, five, 52, or you can do 557142. So, in any case, if you're doing 741, you're already at a 5 level of excitation, and another 5 gets you into a higher level of excitation of this trick, and then you can either leave and go back into 4s, so two, a 2 will exit the 5 5 excited state. Or maybe you want to go back into 741. Uh, in that case, what you need to do is you need to get back up into this level of excitation. Then you can go into 741. So using the level of excitation method, I have identified transition sequences that get you from 741 into 714. The answer is just a 5 and they get you from 714 into 741, and the answer is a 2-5. So um, we can convert back and forth between any of the tricks if we know what the get-ins are. Um, similarly, although 561 wasn't asked about, it has the same level of excitation that 741 has, which means that if you're in 741, you don't need to do anything to get into 561 because the level of excitation is identical. In other words, if you happen to be running 741 over and over again, you can just do 561 any number of times and then go right back into 741 without, um, without there being any transition sequence at all. There's a, an empty, a null transition sequence. There's nothing there, okay? Because the level of excitation is the same. So you can just go bang into the other one and bang right back out with no transition, which you know because the level of excitation is the same. All right, so that's pretty easy, but number one, it only works if you know what the excitation sequences are, so you, so you need to work out those if you wish to use this method. And another um, perhaps shortfall of this is that um, you're bound by the whatever the sequence is in your excitation. In other words, you can't necessarily, I mean right off the bat, you can't choose how many transition throws you will use. If you wanted to do 741, 741, 
and then in exactly three throws end up in 714 because for some performance reason you want the sevens to be three throws apart. This method doesn't immediately tell you what you need to do in here in order to do that because, well, what it's saying is what you need is a single five with nothing in the other positions. And so, you know, what do you do? Now, that isn't necessarily a gigantic problem in, in every case because, well, you know that you could leave this and then get in the other one. You go down and then back in and that would work. Okay, so here is a possible transition sequence, but it might be that the transition sequences are too long or something else or some other reason or you don't think of this. The method doesn't hand this to you. You sort of have to think of it, if you will. Um, and if you, if you just do it quickly, it would say, well, the only possibility is if you're in 741, you throw a single five and then you're in 714 and that's your only choice. It isn't true that's your only choice, but it's the only one that really presents itself. Incidentally, I don't happen to like twos and threes very much. I would rather do it as 551 five, or 51 in this case, because um, I like ones. It just happens that I like ones. And so the sorts of transition sequences that I would have to use in this case, given, given what my preferences are, I would want to to leave, well, either, either I go, even this method says, well, we need to throw another five, but if I wanted to leave, I would have to leave with a five, five, one, and then I enter again with two more fives, and that isn't three throws long, so that wouldn't work, okay? So I wouldn't know how to go from this trick to that th trick in only three throws. So th this method doesn't give you a defined number of throws. You have to kind of hunt for, for transitions. But what it does do is it, it shows you pretty quickly um, the sequences that you need to go from one trick to another trick, but it's not exhaustive and it's not, um, it's not very general. I mean, you have to come up with all the transition sequences, all the different possible transition sequences, and this method doesn't show you how to do that. So in that sense, this method has a shortfall. But some of the other methods, they do hand it to you. So. We'll go, we'll go into those, but this is the level of excitation method.